As students head back to school, many could have a new tool to assist them with their studies. That tool is artificial intelligence. Have you heard about that lately? Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> Last year, when ChatGPT rolled out, many schools banned the use of generative AI, which includes programs like OpenAI, Bard, and Bing. But now some experts are encouraging teachers to embrace the technology in the classroom. We want to bring in Graham Glass to talk about this. He's the CEO and founder of Cypher Learning. Thank you so much for being here with us in studio. It's great to be here. It's a great conversation, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we all uh, have our opinions about it, right? Yeah. I'm into it. Some I'm not afraid more of it. Than others okay. in this conversation. <laughs> how can uh, you know? How can teachers use this as a positive tool within their classes? Yeah. So one thing I should mention: I used to be a teacher. Oh. So I used to teach computer science at the University of Texas at Dallas. Oh wow. And I would have loved AI personally. Okay. So, Tell us why. You know, I, I used to teach programming languages, for example. And as most teachers have to do, I had to create a high-quality, engaging course. And that typically takes between four and six hundred hours of work. Oh, it's not something that most teachers actually look forward to. And in fact, a lot of teachers put it out to the very last minute before creating their lesson plan. So, you know, we've been working on technology like Copilot, which allows any teacher to build a high quality course in 10 minutes. Wow. Oh, wow. And one of the things I want to re uh, reassure everyone, and that is the reason I would have loved it doing that in 10 minutes, because it gives me back so much time to motivate and inspire my students. Well, so I find that interesting because I think most people hear about this and they think, oh, a job is going to be taken away. But it sounds like it actually will enhance the job. Oh, absolutely. You know, I've always been of the, the mindset that the primary role of a teacher is to motivate and inspire kids. Because once they've done that, the kids can learn on their own. They, they call it extrinsic motivation, mm. or intrinsic motivation. And so the nice thing is it frees up so much time for them. So I personally think it's going to allow them to do their job better by removing a lot of that uh, drudgery. So we can see how it could take the grunt work away for uh, teachers, but a lot of the coverage, as you've seen it, this sort of frothy coverage about children writing essays with chat, chat GPT and they, don't, they won't learn how to write anymore and yeah. all that sort of stuff. So, you know, first, you know, are you fearful of that? And I know the answer is no. Why are you yeah. not fearful of that? <laughs> I'll tell you what. But also, how can, yeah. student, <laughs> I know, but how can yeah. students benefit from this then, if it's not about faking your essay? Yeah, so I'll tell you what I would do if I was a professor again. So I would look at it like, I really want to help my kids to understand how to use AI as a sidekick. Because I really do think in the future, a human teamed up with an AI is capable of so much more than just a human on their own. So what I would do is I would actually say, it's a requirement for you guys to all use an AI. Yeah. It's not even an optional thing. But I'm no longer going to give you the same old assessment. You're not going to write an essay. I want you to write a novel. Oh, wow. I want you to write a book with 15 chapters, illustrated, a prologue, an epilogue. And once you've got your book, and I think the students will be really proud to have written an entire book, yeah. then you give it to the other students, get them to do a peer review, mm. you know, make sure it's not written robotically. And so I just think that showing kids this is what you can do with an AI I mean, just imagine how you would feel as a kid. I wrote a whole book. So what we're talking about, and it's kind of like we meant, you mentioned this before we went to air, we're talking about expecting different outcomes. Absolutely. We're scared of AI because we're, we're sort of expecting it to get in the way of the way teaching is done now. But you're not talking about the way teaching is done now. You're talking about different expectations for students. Changing the game, exactly. And showing kids, if you team up with your AI co-pilot, you can just do so much more. All right. It's a fascinating conversation. Yeah. I, this is not how I thought this conversation was going to go either, you know? Like, well, that's good. We've had so many different conversations about this yeah. exact topic, so but, thank but you. But for now, don't use ChatGPT to write your essays. <laughs> well, or, or, well, yeah. It'll be kind of lame and boring because the technology isn't there either. It's true. You've still got to spice it up a little bit if you do. Um, Graham, thank you for being here. My pleasure.